My dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet and bless you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May the name of the Lord be glorified. On this day, May 21st, it is a great pleasure to meet you through this auspicious message. May the Lord bless you. Take with me from the book of Genesis 15 1, Do not be afraid, I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. My dear brothers and sisters, sisters, one day the Lord visited Abraham and said to him, Do not be afraid, I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. God spoke these words in a vision to Abraham. God told him that he was a great reward to him. Shield and reward. What does this mean? God assures him that he will provide Abraham with complete protection. I will be a shield for you. There is no need for anyone. God did not say that he would provide some angels for his protection. But he said to Abraham, Do not fear, I will be your shield. God himself became his shield. God did not permit anyone to touch him. God said, I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. That means that in whatever work he put his hand to, in all that he did, God was a great reward for Abraham. Psalm 107.37 says, And sow fields and plant vineyards, that they may yield a fruitful harvest. He also blesses them, and they multiply greatly. They will get a good income and a good reward. In their business, in their trade, God will give them a high reward for their hard work. God says, I will give you a good harvest. You will reap better. The Bible says that God blessed Abraham in everything. In the same manner, God is telling you today. That day, the Lord spoke to Abraham in a vision, but today he is speaking to you through this Mongol of Varthai in your own homes. He says, do not be afraid, don't be afraid of anything. Don't be afraid of sickness, don't be afraid of your debts, and don't be worried that good events did not take place at the appointed time. I will be your supporter. I will be your shield and your exceedingly great reward. Says the Lord. When God told Abraham, do not be afraid, then it is understood that he had some fear. Otherwise, the Lord does not need to say that. Today. If you have some fear about something, then God looks at you and says, Do not be afraid. I will be your support. Therefore, take away the spirit of fear and fill your heart with the spirit of courage. Dear Lord, we thank you. You. Lord, remove all the spirits of fear and fill them with the spirit of power. Power. If they had feared something, then let it not be for some harm or evil but for good. Lord be a good shield for all the children. Save them from disease, from the hold of Satan, from all evil bondages, and from darkness, and from witchcraft and divination. Lord, I pray that you will protect them. You will rise up for them as their shield and support. Keep them away from the pangs of death. Save them from accidents and destruction. Protect them in all their ways. May your hand be with them and let all that they do prosper. Help them to harvest an exceedingly great reward. May they take baskets of leftovers? In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I greet and bless you all, my dearly cherished brothers and sisters in Christ. May God be praised for his name. It is a tremendous joy to meet you through this auspicious message on this day. May 21st. God bless you. I will quote Genesis 15 1 to you, saying, Do not be afraid, I am your shield and your exceedingly great reward. Greetings, sisters, brothers, and sisters. Abraham was told not to be afraid, for the Lord was there to visit him. He was to get an incredibly great reward. These are the words God revealed to Abraham in a vision. God assured him that it was a wonderful reward. Protective and rewarding what does this signify? God gives him the assurance that he will shield Abraham from all harm. I'll act as a barrier between us. No one is in need of anything. God made no mention of sending angels to watch over him. Abraham, however, heard him say, Do not fear, I will be your shield. God turned into his own protector. 
nobody was allowed to touch God. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward, declared God. This implies that God was a huge recompense for Abraham in whatever he accomplished, no matter what he set his hands to. And sow fields and plant vineyards, that they may yield a fruitful harvest, states Psalm 10737. He blesses them as well, and they proliferate abundantly. They'll receive a respectable salary and bonus. In their craft and in their business. They will receive a great reward from God for their diligence. I will give you a good harvest, declares God. You'll get better results. According to the Bible, God gave Abraham every blessing. God is instructing you now in the same way. The Lord talked to Abraham that day in a vision, but he is communicating to you in your homes now through this Mangala Vartha. Do not be afraid, do not be afraid of anything, he advises. Do not fear illness, do not fear debt, and do not worry that fortunate things did not happen when they were supposed to. I'll be here for you. I will be your defense and your immeasurable benefit. The Lord says, it is understood that Abraham experienced some fear when God said to him, do not be afraid. The Lord wouldn't have to say otherwise. God looks at you now and says, do not be afraid, if you are afraid of anything. I'll be here for you. So cast out the spirit of fear and put the spirit of courage in your heart. We are grateful to you, Lord. You. Lord, drive out every fear and give them the spirit of might. Strength. If they had feared anything, it should have been for good rather than evil. Be an excellent shield, Lord, for every child. Save them from illness, from darkness, from Satan's grasp, and from all wicked bonds and from divination and witchcraft. Lord, please keep them safe. I pray. You will take a stand as their bulwark and champion. Save them from the agony of dying. Keep children safe from harm and accidents. In every way, keep them safe. I hope your hand finds them. And may they succeed in all that they do. Assist them in reaping an incredibly rich return. Can they take leftovers in baskets? We ask in the name of Jesus. Indeed.